Hello, hi everybody, welcome back. We are now in the final wrapping up stages of the CSS text videos. And in this video, I'm going to cover CSS Unicode and a couple of more CSS styles for manipulating the text. All right, in the previous videos, I talked about CSS text direction. Remember that the text direction is it determines whether the text is going to be running right to left or left to right. Check this out. Okay. And this can be useful for languages where the text runs from right to left. Not so useful in English, but useful for the Arabic language. Now, this is where we finished the last time and uh, we completed this video with a note that I would be talking to you about Unicode. Okay, let me write this down. Unicode and CSS Unicode BIDI -I, that's how it is written property is used in combination with the CSS text direction property and it specifies which direction the text should run that is from left to right or right to left okay and it's specified like this direction okay value unicode bidi double colon value okay now as i explained this is for websites that are multi language okay supposing you have a website that has mirror replicas in many languages okay and uh, in order for the text to display for the content to display correctly according to the language you need to specify which direction the language is going to be displayed for example if you do not specify the direction in arabic language the language would begin from the left side of the page just like english and it would distort the language completely i mean it's not going to be fun to read arabic like that you'll have ugly spaces that don't make sense and the whole page would look a chaos Okay, so prevent that you need CSS text direction with a Unicode BIDI value and this value helps on the international level. It's like a standard so that when you are working in a team of programmers, everybody knows what language and what kind of text direction they're working with. Okay, and this helps them specify what where to place their graphics and images accordingly. All right, so the states for this va the possible values for this code is normal okay and embed and b i d i override okay i'm not going to get into details for each of these values and because i am simply providing you an overview here this is not an in-depth ccs course css course but what i'll do is i'll explain it to you with an example okay let me show you a good example how unicode bidi can be done okay let me just delete all of this and open up a paragraph tag okay open up a paragraph tag p okay open the paragraph tag and write style is equal to open inverted commas direction okay just like we specified before double colon rtl right to left that's what it means semicolon unicode bidi double colon bidi hyphen override okay semicolon oops invert comments close and back close okay this text is running from right to left this can be useful for languages where the text runs from right to left okay not so useful for English okay and I'm going to go ahead and close the paragraph tag okay close the paragraph tag and paragraph bracket I'm going to save this file 
hopefully no errors save as all pages all files uh, css text we're still working on css text and i need to see yes unicode oh my god look at the way this has been distorted no this is not an error this is exactly what we asked for okay this is exactly what we asked for this is how the letters are jumbled up each letter begins from right to left each word begins from right to left and this is not fun not in english though if you have if you have another language it would work perfectly well okay all the letters would be aligned in a very you know legible fashion okay so after this i want to show you css text shadow okay, i'm going to write that in bold so that it will be you know it's displayed here and you can know what which example belongs to which topic so we're doing css text shadow and within the body tag just open up a paragraph tag and say style is equal to text hyphen shadow two pixels remember two and px should be written together okay again two pixels eight pixels orange you're adding a space between each expression orange semicolon and inverted commas close and bracket close if your browser supports the CSS text shadow property. Okay, notice the condition. If it supports the text shadow property, this text will have a shadow. Okay, I'm curious. Does my browser support this or not? Mm, let me check out that this is interesting i bet you attempted to find out if your browser is supporting css shadow property okay let me just check if there are any syntax errors because i just want to make sure that there's no, nothing wrong ts css okay p style is equal to text hyphen shadow double colon let me just eliminate this space here two pixels eight pixels orange okay orange and if your browser supports the css text then you should be able to see the shadow okay now if you want to learn more about css text shadow is used for applying shadow or drop shadows or outer glows and other shadow effects to the text okay it's just like word document where you apply shadow and the possible values are you know you could have non color length okay and what it does is it helps you to create you know different style of text shadow behind your text okay let me save this file as and as html hmm it does fantastic what about you is it supporting is your browser supporting this awesome okay you can play with other colors just to find out what happens i think this is a lot of fun css is more fun than html but without html unfortunately you can't learn css okay let me go ahead and work on the last last piece of code in css text it's called CSS white space. Hmm. So CSS white space tells the browser how to handle white space. Okay. Possible values are normal, pre, or now wrap. Okay. And let's try to write down code for that. Okay. Here it goes. Paragraph O P 
style is equal to in work in is open white space value is pre okay and i'm going to play with all the values that i've just mentioned okay pre bracket close this text has a line break okay and bracket actually it has many line breaks we'll find out we'll find out just hang in there okay and the white space resetting tells the browser to honor it just like the HTML pre tag. Okay. So we have an HTML pre tag and the browser would honor this code the same way it will honor the HTML code. Save and let me just try to run it like that. CSS white space. I don't see anything here. I must have messed up the code. Let me check out. Okay. CSS white space. CSS style is equal to white space double colon pre. There you go. One mistake here. Let me see what other mistake I have made. This text is a line breaker. This is no problem. Did I close the paragraph tag? Oops. Yes. Save. Hmm. This text has a line break. Actually, it has many line breaks, and the white space pre-setting tells the browser to honor it just like the HTML break. So this it has line breaks before, which means that if you have lines and lines of code, you would naturally have space here before the. So this is just another way of adding space, white space between two lines. And it helps establish, you know, code meaningfulness of the code. So, you know, sometimes white space conveys a lot of messages. So, it's for those particular circumstances. Okay. Anyway, what I was trying to say is that CSS style can be used to change the way you represent your text or any kind of content. And in order for you to do that, you need to understand the proper syntax of the CSS language. And I think uh, with this, I am done with my text part. And up next, I would be talking about CSS background code. Okay. Now, this is getting very exciting and very interesting now. Like I said, you know, the code won't make sense like this, but if you include it, as a part of your blog page or your daily diary you can apply styles just to practice it would make a lot of sense to you especially if you want to play with colors you want to play with sizes you want to play with the pixels and dimensions any kind of dimensions you can do that and try to make notes while you whatever text you're typing try to make it self descriptive that helps you practice things even better okay with this i wrap up my css text and uh, up next is css background code see you later take care bye bye